imagine a world that every human being, as well as every life being, is treated equally, powered by water, which is our number one source. And in that motion, we are to understanding the life capacity of one another. This formula is called hydroxy, and it is very well possible, yet it is uneducated and not taught to be in school, for the government see that there is no profit off of that. So we must unite our minds. All right, everybody, my name is Knut and uh, T.R. Knutson, K-N-U-D-T-S-O-N. This was shot in 89 in Sydney, Australia. This is Professor Yule Brown on the right, that is me. And the uh, McLeod version I guess of the day of a western hat that I really appreciated, my lucky hat. But as I say, as I got older, certainly, I learned the interaction, the interplay between all these tiny things and, and how, we, how we should live within nature. So water became an interest of mine, and by 16 I was making, with solar power as a DC power supply, I was making a way for water to burn and be used industrially. But we now find ourselves embroiled in another struggle, an international industrial struggle. My uh, first uh, project for its uses was to make steel. The interesting thing is when I made steel with pure water and pure electricity, what I ended up with was non-rusting steel. It doesn't rust. So there is something different that happens to the steel that even the people uh, at the laboratories could not figure out the day what it was. In fact, they thought it was from a meteorite. And I didn't. I made it in my garage. It wasn't from a meteorite. I created it, I guess, well, I put it together from creation. So solar power, water, and uh, electricity from the solar power. And I was making steel. Um, as you can see, I'm lighting a cigarette for Brown. Brown uh, smoked all of his life. And, uh, it, but you'll notice as he prepares the gas, it will illuminate the cigarette, but it will not burst into flame until it's put very close to the tip. You'll see the cigarette brighten, but not ignite. Cigarette's definitely lit. That is the gas, and by the way, this is breathable as it comes now, without being ignited, of course. You can see right against the cigarette. Just a moment, he adjusts the pressure here. And watch when he gets it very close to the tip where all of the pressure is, is just right, it will ignite. Otherwise, no ignition. That is water burning. Water is fire, and fire is water, which our ancestors have been teaching us that same thing forever. Opposites of the exact same central force. So, you can say, I'm trying to affirm spirituality with my science, or is my spirituality teaching my science? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's for wiser people than me to understand, but these are, these are the things that how it came to be how I started my work in this, these fields. Uh, our welder in Australia was an example of about three people that came together. Stanley, a wonderful engineer, Yule Brown with the production cell of the, of the right dimension and shape, my differential pressure control cell using water itself to dry or wet conductive surfaces to control the voltage to the lower cells. So we collectively, collaboratively, came together to make what it was came the BG2000.